Hey everyone, it's TJ from Avidyne. In the following brief video, we're going to be discussing the IFD interface with the Avidyne Skytrax 100B, which is a 978 UAT receiver. Um, as always, the following information is for reference use only. It's not FAA approved data. For FAA approved data, please refer to the IFD installation manual. Make sure you're looking at the latest revision. All right, so um, the Avidyne uh, Skytrax 100B to the Avidyne IFD interface, what we've done is we've created a lot of options here. So, so try to track with me here, guys. Um, I'm going to go through what the differences between them are and what the different options are as well. So let's go ahead and jump in. Um, you can wire and configure the AirRank 429 interface between the Skytrax 100B and the IFD using a Airing 429 traffic advisory protocol. Okay, you can do that. That's absolutely fine. Um, it's not necessarily our our favorite way to do it, and the reason why is because if you use Airing 429, you're not going to get full ADSB symbology and you're also not going to get ADSB weather across that data stream. So what that means is if you want to use Airing 429 for the traffic, you still have to run these RS-232s for the weather side of things if you want to do ADSB traffic and weather. Okay. And the RS-232 interface is going to be one of the capstone weather protocols. We can do standard capstone at 38400 or we can do capstone high speed at 115200 but the third option and this is the recommended option um, is to ignore that airing 429 part altogether and use only that RS-232 interface to provide both capstone traffic and weather um, that's going to give us full ADSB traffic symbology. That's going to give us ADSB weather, and that's all going to be on that one pair of RS-232s. Okay, so you don't need to run, you know, four wires now. You just need to run the two, at least for that part of the interface, because there's a third line that does have to be run. Skytrax 100B absolutely requires a GPS input. So what we're going to do is we're going to wire up a separate RS-232 to provide uh, ADSB plus G at 9600 baud rate or ADSB plus G2 at 38400 baud rate. Doesn't matter which one you use um, as long as the config settings match on both ends. Okay, uh, those baud rates have to match. And for what it's worth, even if you use the Airing 429 config setting, you still have to provide this GPS output. Okay. So if we're going to ignore that 429 and we're going to do RS-232 only, um, what we're going to do is we're going to use capstone traffic and weather, or we can use just capstone traffic, or we can use just capstone weather at a 38400 baud rate or we can do capstone high speed traffic and weather capstone high speed traffic by itself or capstone high speed weather by itself at a 115200 baud rate for the high speed option so as you can see there's there's a lot of different ways you can go about um, skinning a cat when it comes to this installation <clears throat> but uh, the big thing to keep in mind is if you've got like an active traffic system on board and they want to keep their active traffic and and not use ADSB traffic but they still want the ADSB weather then we've got the option to do that and just use the, only the ADSB weather if they've got an active weather system on board like a GDL 69 or something like that and they want to keep that but still they want to take advantage of the ADSB traffic we can set it up that way as well, okay, um, or any combination in between. So, all things to kind of keep in mind as you're planning your installation out. Um, as always, if you have any questions about any of this, 
uh, don't hesitate to give us a call in tech support, and we'll be glad to help you out. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.